Good morning, Saxy family. How you guys all doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Got a smile on your face, and you're ready for a brand new video, guys. Oh my gosh, the coolest thing happened the other day, especially with all the things currently going on in my life. Um, Logan Paul. Yes, the Logan Paul, you know, the host of the number one podcast in the world called Impulsive, the guy who is known for beating KSI but losing because of a stupid split decision because, I, I mean, Logan Paul should have honestly won fight number two. That's not even just my opinion, that's just straight up fact. Ended up talking about me over on his podcast, Impulsive. So how did I, Jeff Saxon Vlogs, get talked about over on Logan's podcast? So uh, Mike put up a tweet asking for uh, people just to give them some questions for a quick little Q&A. They needed some help on apparently what was going to be titled the worst podcast ever. And uh, I simply just said, hey, what is the one thing you must accomplish before the end of your life? Just a simple accomplish. Like, I, I'm always kind of interested to see what, like, people are always thinking, like, what is one must thing that they have to do before their time on this planet's over? My answer is simple for myself. It's I want to make a positive impact on as many people as possible. I know that might be, like, very cliche, but that's just the kind of person I am. I like making people happy. I like making people being able to laugh, especially, like, when they're sad or down and you know my, my end goal in life is just I want to make as many people as possible happy and I feel like I'm on the right track for being able to do that here in life. So lo and behold my question got pulled up on the podcast and Logan had some really nice and positive things to actually say about me. What's one thing you must accomplish before the end of your life? From Jeff Swift Saxon. I like that guy. Jeff, Jeff I like Saxon that guy. Good guy. Good guy. Real standout guy. Fire, you... Firefighter actually. Yep that, that's actually factual facts right there. I am a volunteer firefighter and I love doing it. And that's facts. I'm speaking facts that are factual. Who, who, who? Jeff Swift Saxton. You know that? I DM him. Shut the yep. front front. Which is very true. Uh, I actually thankfully get to talk to Logan probably a few times a week. Uh, whether if it's like questions about videos, working out, etc. Uh, I gotta say guys, he's a great role model, A, and B, he's a very great leader, and also, C, a very genuine person. Uh, let's continue with the clip. Oh, he's a god dang firefighter. Yep, stand out gentleman. A volunteer firefighter from Forked River. Forked, Forked River. Okay, real quick, Mike, I, I have to kind of stop that. Uh, Mike, if you're watching this vlog, you had it right. You literally had it right. It's Forked River. I don't know why it's... Uh, called Forked River, a lot of people that aren't from like my area in this part of New Jersey call it Forked River, but everybody here in my town and like my county and all that know it as Forked River. Apparently like way back in the day when the Indians found like this place, they called it Forked River because like, I know I'm probably born a lot of you guys, but there's this river in my town that looks literally like a flipping fork. Props to you Mike for getting it right literally the first time you ever said it and then, ah, uh, I can't believe you just, you pulled out. And you went with the other name, but you, you you got it correct the first time, so I give you credit for that. Real great, real great guy. He asked me how to, uh, he asked me some workout advice. True. Hey, man, I want Very to get in shape. I want to start working out. I said, guy, hire a trainer. It'll change your life. It has. <sighs> change your life. He did. He's down. How, how, what does it say? And before we get into about, like, how much I'm actually down. So, yeah, if you guys look at my, uh one month post over on my Twitter, I talked about the fact that like somebody recommended to me to get a coach or a trainer, somebody that can show me the ropes exactly what to do in the gym and help me develop a routine. And honestly, I did. And that advice, I, I didn't name drop anybody in that post, but that advice actually came from Logan Paul himself. And it's probably some of the best advice that I've gotten. And I literally have like a whole entire list of people to thank in general for help get me to the point where I am now in to get at least into the gym. One of them happens to be McJugger Nuggets for the person that made me aware of like the path that I was going down was a very unhealthy one. All right, let's get back to watching the clip. Mark, I've dropped an additional eight pounds to put me at 254. Oh boy. Uh, starting at 278 in March. And, and you're, uh, you attribute this to potentially a little bit to a conversation you guys had. I mean, he had, he had the, he has the drive. I just made a suggestion. Which is true. I do have the drive, especially now that I'm getting older. I realize, like, yo, my health is very important to take care of. You know, I need to lose weight. I need to get in shape. To be completely honest with you guys, I do attribute a lot of my success in the gym recently to Logan's advice over two months ago. Because here's the thing. I would continue to still go to the gym, but then I'd have no clue what in the world I'd be doing. If I didn't get that advice from Logan, I would have never thought about, you know, 
asking one of my friends who has a training cert to come help me out in the gym. But real quick, I do want to say thank you to everybody that's been helping me and supporting me throughout the, the last few years to get to the point where I am now to, to really go balls to the walls in the gym. And uh, also, I just want to say, Logan, thank you for the kind words that you were saying about me over there on the podcast. I really do appreciate it, with especially everything going on right now with my mom not believing in me with social media and doing all this kind of stuff as a job. Anyways, it's time to finally change the topic. As you guys all know, I released a brand new video the other day over on Storyfire where I was forced into doing manual labor that I personally did not want to do. My mom sent me to my Uncle Jack's house to go power wash it, and actually, I did a pretty good job, not gonna lie, at power washing his house. So if you guys want to see that, link be down below in the video description. But my Uncle Jack actually called me and said uh, he has a check for me, so we're gonna go over to his house real quick and pick up this check because uh, I'm not gonna lie, Money is actually very nice, especially when you don't have much of it, so Yeah, let, let, let's go take care of that real quick. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I did an amazing job This whole entire like right side of the house was really really bad If you guys check out the video over on story fire You can see exactly what I'm talking about, but honestly I did a pretty good job So I went and talked to my uncle real quick. He just left with his other car and uh, he gave me a $250 check a $250 check for power washing his house. Like, I didn't expect I was gonna make any money from doing this. Like, my big thing is like, I will never ask really family for money in general. And um, being forced to do this by my mom, like, I didn't expect like in general for me to get paid, being forced to do something honestly that I didn't wanna do. But the fact that I went and did a great job and my uncle called me, he's like, yo, I got a check for you. I want you to come pick this up before I leave. I was like, you know what? Sure, I'll come, I'll come get it. And uh, honestly, I am very happy that uh, I at least got something out of that uh, that deal, basically having the power wash this house. What I'm about to do right now though is go work out at the station gym and uh, continue working out every single day except on Thursdays because Thursdays are my rest days. Uh, I'm gonna go there, get a nice little workout in, but when I'm done, uh, I'm gonna go home and show this check off to my mom be like yo listen you forced me to do something I did not want to do but I got a $250 check so uh, yeah I'm gonna end up cashing that in my bank account when I get home too because really I don't have that much time to do it at the moment so I'm gonna cash that check put that money in my account maybe order some sh brand new shoes off offline because uh, my current pair of shoes got wrecked the other day while power washing. So here we are guys at my favorite place to be and it is my station gym. This is where I've been spending the last few months every single day except Thursdays working out, get in shape and today's actual exercise involves mainly majority just using this one machine right here where my left hand is. So I follow a very simple routine. I do push, pull, legs, the PPL. And uh, today is my push day, yesterday was my pull, tomorrow is obviously my leg. So today, we're gonna be starting here uh, with some lateral pull downs, and then we're gonna go into some cable rows. After that, we come all the way right to here, and we do assisted pull-ups. Uh, I usually keep it at max right there, resistance. Uh, just to kind of you know help continue building up the strength then we come back to this machine here We take this little handle take it put it up there And then we do close grip pull downs now after that all I do is I come over here Some days I may use 25 some days. I'll use 20 some, day, some days. I'll use 15 But then I have closed uh, not closed grip uh, bicep curls so after we do bicep curls, then we have hammer curls. So very easy uh, routine that is very simple to follow and it's honestly made a huge difference in my life uh, when it comes to working out and my health. So what I'm gonna do is every routine and every, uh, every or not routine, but every little thing I move on to, I'm gonna get a clip, show you guys how I'm doing it, and uh, maybe it might just help you guys start figuring out how to do some things in the gym as well.
All right, just got done working out. Honestly, I feel great. It's probably like the best thing that I've done so far today was just get my daily exercise, something I'm starting to preach more and more about, guys, because the more exercise you do, the better you feel, the better you can look. That being said, it's time to actually go home and uh, show my mom I got paid today, even though it's not much. $250 is a lot more than I had yesterday in my bank account, so that's gonna be a plus. But yo, mom, take a look at this check. I'm gonna cash it. I'm gonna buy some new shoes, all that good stuff. And you guys can tell my arm is tired because I keep going like this with the camera. So yeah, I'm gonna go home and do that. First things first is though, can't step in this giant puddle. Hey, birds, will you will you knock it off? I'm trying to vlog right now. Thank thank you. I appreciate. No, little little fuzzy guy. Please knock it off right there in the tree. Jesus, I feel like they never listen. Anyway guys, I'm gonna hop in the car. I'm gonna drive home. Gosh, my arms are absolutely sore. But that's a good thing, because that means we're actually doing something right in the gym. That's I, my check! I don't care. Mom, that's my check! 